Well, hello, welcome back. I'll show you guys how you can design this Starbucks product manipulation in Photoshop, a photo editing program. So, uh, let's say if we have, you know, these elements, this huge cup of Starbucks Frappuccino and then ribbons, liquid, and then uh, some light rays and lens flare as the overlays and uh, coffee beans as well. So, I uh, drag the Starbucks PNG into uh, the composition and then all we have to do now is to resize it so uh, control T and then hold the shift key to uh, make it much smaller just like so rotate it a bit tilt it just like so and then we're going to make the background brown so uh, pick a brown shade hmm a darker one will do then click on okay and then click here to create a new layer click on the fill tool to fill the background just like this fancy now let's make the floor first so uh, all we have to do now is to duplicate the background layer and then um, you hit ctrl J to duplicate it and then uh, simply uh, make it like this and then we're going to make it a bit darker adjustments Bright and contrast, brightness and contrast. Sorry, and then make it darker, just like so. And then uh, use the eraser tool with the hardness at zero percent and the size at this pixels. Delete this part. We're going to actually uh, make the shadows out of this layer, and then um, you know simply erase the the sharper parts so that you know it looks like this pretty much you can duplicate it if you want the shadow to be thicker control J and then um, delete some parts so that um, the parts that's close to the cup is actually visible control J again just like so control J delete the outer part Control J, Control J, Control J, and uh, pretty much it. Select them all, and then right click, click on merge layers, just like so. And then you can even do some tweaks with the brightness. Make it slightly dark, just like this, and then delete some parts here. And some parts there as well. You're done creating the shadow. So uh, let's, you know, put the light rays as part of the overlay drag it into the workspace make it slightly larger just like so rotate it just like this and then what we're going to do is to use a blending mode it's not so tilted there you go it's pretty much tilted let's use a blending mode called screen or color dodge if you want to uh, let's remove the sharpness so right click rasterize layer and then delete the you know the part that is sharp just like so you can duplicate it control J delete this now you're done select them all merge layers and then uh, bring it back to uh, color dodge just like this actually we're not going to actually merge this we're going to group it so uh, select them all Control G to group it. Right click. Uh, well, leave it as it is though. <laughs> okay, all good. So uh, now let's put some liquid splash elements into it. Put it in front of the Starbucks um, cup. And then let's say if we want, you know, the liquid splash to come from here so that it lies at the bottom so well let's actually um, blur this so that you know there's this aperture kind of look uh, uh, the look that you can achieve by um, you know setting the diaphragm of the camera filter and then uh, blur and then you head over to uh, oh we have to actually right click and rasterize the layer filter blur lens blur and then um, increase the amount to this. That will do. This will do actually. 
Mm. Or we're not going to actually blur it. Um, hold on. Let's stick with Gaussian blur instead, actually. Instead of lens blur. Ah, that will do. Then let's colorize this so that it looks, you know, brown by heading over to image adjustments and gradient map. We color it brown. But uh, let's change this one into black first. And then for this one, let's select a brown shade, just like this, probably. Mm, that's too chocolatey. So uh, we're going to um, be um, choosing a shade that looks like this pretty much. And then for this, let's bring it, uh, let's uh, put some uh, a lighter shade of brown, just like this. When you're done, click on OK. Click on OK when you're done. Uh, you can also do some tweaks with the, you know, saturation, image adjustments, hue and saturation, and then um, decrease the saturation just slightly. Okay, this will do. Now let's add some coffee bean elements. Drag it here. Fancy. Looking good now. <laughs> All right, let's put this one. Um, behind this um, cup. So uh, hold the left click button, head over to the lasso tool, lasso tool, that's to say, and then um, right click, rasterize layer, and then uh, control C, control V, and then uh, place it behind the cup. And then for this one, I simply remove it, select this, and then uh, remove this. Okay, all good now. Mm, looks pretty much, uh, yeah. Just this edge, so we need to actually move it a bit. Move it a bit, that's to say. Um, okay, move it until it's placed here, and then for the coffee bean that that you know that is gone, place it on top of the straw, onto the top of the straw, just like this. And then let's actually do some tweaks with the cup so that you know the the shading of the cup will actually be more noticeable, and uh, there will be some uh, darker parts. In the middle, and then there's going, there's going to, uh, uh, there's going to be a, uh, you know, the shading at the back side of the cup, blocked by the cup, while the rays are shining on the cup. So uh, to do this, let's simply just um, duplicate it, Control J, and then um, make it darker a bit. So uh, adjustments, and then uh, brightness, and then slightly make it slightly darker, just like so. And then erase um, the part that you know receive the light, which is the sides, this side and this side. So uh, click on the rubber tool, change the size and the hardness as well, just like so. Ooh, fancy. There are more lights now. And then for this side as well. Pretty easy, eh? And the straw as well. The edge of the straw needs to be highlighted. And then uh, we can simply just, um, you know, do some tweaks with the opacity, just like so, so that it's not too dark in the middle of the cup. And then um, uh, when you're done, um, we're going to add some optical flares, lens flare, drag it into here, and then uh, change the blending mode into screen, mm, color dutch is actually better, uh, add, 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 all right, let's right click rasterize layer and then uh, erase uh, the outer parts, just like this, so that, you know, there's no edge within this area and then let's rotate this control T and then rotate it place it um, onto the edge of the cup just like so and then um, we're going to color it so I uh, delete it a bit hmm Okay, um, reduce the size, delete this part only, and then uh, what we're going to do now is to head over to image, hue and saturation, and then let's uh, do some tweaks with the color. 
So I drag the slider here. Make it yellow. Actually, we're going to use gradient map. Image adjustments, gradient map. And then, uh, you know, from this side, we're going to put black. Then uh, for this one, we're going to put a brown shade, just like this. drag it to the left so that you know the lights get brighter and then click on okay when you're done fancy isn't it let's say if we make this coffee bean blurry so uh oh and this one as well let's say if we make this coffee bean blurry so uh, all we have to do now is to uh select this and then um control c control v and then for this one, we're going to delete it. And then make it blurry, just like uh, what we did for the liquid. So uh, filter, uh, blur, Gaussian blur. Adjust the radius so that it's blurry. Okay, just like this. Really blurry. All good now. We're done creating this Starbucks product manipulation where there's this cup of Starbucks Frappuccino and then the light, you know, shines on the cup and then there are more elements such as these coffee beans and this coffee liquid and this lens flare that bring some touch into the realistic elements for this Starbucks product manipulation. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching guys. Do drop like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for me. It's good day. Ciao.